what would happen if a website that you're trying to use parses your input insecurely the answer is a reflected xss hello everybody my name is rahul and in this video we'll be trying to learn how you can bypass some of the client side restrictions using nothing but a few bypassing techniques now let just let us just begin with this video if i you can see that here is a search box now if i were to type in hello you will see that the hello is being reflected in the search page itself now this is something that you can try to look for in a reflected xss so if i try to press control u or command u if you are on a mac you will see that your search term is being reflected in the script tag which in itself is vulnerable if no proper client side controls or server side controls have been applied and it is also being reflected somewhere else if i were to show you as you can see it is being reflected in the h1 targets also so if i were to type in with a simple angle bracket script alert one you will see that nothing actually happens now why is that now if i were to pre press ctrl u and if, if i were to type for alert that we just used you will see that these are html encoded now why is that this is because of this term that is being used here which is encode uri component so what this will do is it will accept the user um, it, this search term accepts the user input parses it through encode uri component which in itself is secure and will let you or will let the input encode in an html format and then display it on the website now how we can leverage this to get an xss so this got me to a stack overflow post and as you can see here html encode uri component escapes all characters except the following which is alphabetical decimal and digits now if you see here these are some of the codes or some of the characters that it will escape now how will you get an xss using this that is a great question in fact now in order for this to accomplish or succeed what you what you need to have is the search or the term that you are trying to look for should be reflected in this within the script tags if this does not happen this will be tough for you to exploit now a working exploit i found here on the website now if as you can see encode uri component does not parse this or this so i can use this to gain an xss so let's just try to get an xss now if i were to type in this followed by a dash we know that encode uri component does not do anything with these and if i were to type in alert one and do the same here you will see the magic happen as you can see we got an xss now is this the only way to get an xss absolutely not so as you as we just learned not only does it escape this but it also escapes this character and all of these as such so let's just try to get an xss using this as you can see we got a pop-up again so this is how you can leverage an xss you can leverage a vulnerable component to get an xss now if i were to type in command u again you will see here that this is what we look for and this is being reflected as it is though it is parsing here but as you can see we got an xss working xss here same is the case with this if i were to type in tag dash here and a dash here you will see that it is again being reflected in the search term in the within the script tags due to which we got a working xss so thank you guys i hope you learned from this video thank you for this